How's it going? It's Sean Lynch here again, playing uh, Magic Duels. We're going to be playing the Green Black Counter Stack, or Golgari, if you prefer. So, I'm pretty happy about this one. This actually seems like it's a good deck. Uh, <laughs> a lot of synergy in here. Uh, maybe playing creatures. I'm just going to try and overwhelm our uh, opponent with really good creatures, really good value creatures. We're playing uh, Winding Constrictor, which anytime a plus one plus one counter will be put on a creature or more, yeah, it puts double that of mana on. So, really powerful card. Uh, only three of them in the deck, so you know, not as synergistic as the standard version, but... I feel like we played this exact guy the other day. Yeah, we played this avatar with the Mirrodin's playing background. Let me see if I can remember the name. Limestone83. No, okay, I think that was a different guy. Uh, Limestone. Pretty good name. 83. I don't like that he has the 83 there. Uh, yeah, I just put these in here. No plus one plus one counters, but I just really like the card. So, and there's plus one plus one counter, plus one plus one counter. That's just a, a good card. I'll be keeping this on. <coughs> so you can play blue white control, or maybe um, blue white spirits. So we'll play this first, so we can set up a turn two play, or maybe not a turn two play because um, he's playing control. He could be playing sensor. So that lets counter target spell, unless this controller pays one, we wouldn't be able to pay one. Although countering the scrap heap would not be the worst, because then I get to um, bring it back. So I think I'll actually do that. Mm. No, I won't. Uh, I changed my mind. Okay, so end step he didn't, telling time. So I think that makes it a little bit more likely that he's playing like the creature deck. Okay, that's that's definitely bad for us. Definitely playing control there for sure. Ooh, that's good next turn with um, Trials Tracker. Especially against control deck, you want to be able to get some card advantage somehow, so he's great for that. And I have uh, my own three mana artifact, um, Life, Life Crafter's Beast Theory, so hopefully that's so what do I play here? Well, my most resilient threat or the one that gets me the best? Block. I don't really care if I lose them. Lifelink could be good against this. Uh, let's go have some good upside. I think I'm gonna. Yeah, because this doesn't really do anything, so I'm just gonna put out the max uh, damage I put. Uh, this, again, if I had something that got plus some counters, I don't have any energy to put this guy. Like, so if I go this this turn, this next turn, he's not going to get any counters. I suspect my opponent has um, less alliance here, so this guy is definitely going. But not before. Uh, I forgot he has counter spells. I better make him waste the Bless Alliance, hopefully gaining 4 life as well. And then I'll get to resolve this Tireless Tracker. So Bless Alliance. Okay, this isn't working, he's not playing Bless Alliance. Okay, well, I'm definitely not going to play the tracker into counter magic. I'll play like the long tusk cup, and I can pay one for sensor. <sighs> See what he does. If he so he obviously has counter magic. He's thinking about it. And this is the way to play your lands post combat. So you know he's countered the two two, um, but he's going to have to let the old. Maybe I should play this, potentially. But, lifelink again, seems pretty good against them. Uh, the control decks have very few win conditions. So, tower, uh, uh, what's it called again? Dynavolt tower could be could be one of his win cons. Could have a Jace here. Uh, nope, looks, well, maybe not. Some people just go to the second main phase and play them. But it could be a misclick. So you might have confirmed suspicions here. A lot of people playing that, they seem to love it. The old 5 mana counter spell. But you do get three, cl three clues out of it. Um, looks like he's trying to find something here. Oh no, no, he's gonna, sorry. He's gonna get four energy from this, two from this, two from this, and shoot down one of my guys. Yeah, of course. That's why he did it now, post combat. Probably this guy here, yep. Yeah. Because I could just get this guy back. Which is great for me, because I get to just resolve um, Tyler's Tracker and get some card advantage with this evolving worlds. 
So super good situation for me. And then even if he kills it all, I've already got two clues out of it, so... Don't really mind. I'm gonna crack this straight away. While he's tapped out. Although I could, if he had a kill spell, uh, like Declaration of Sun, I could just sack in response. Uh, looks like I don't have that many swamps in my deck. So I'm just gonna get a swamp there. Feeling pretty good about this game. Um, I have this, obviously it's a one of, but I put in the cheap version, um, Ridgetail Tusker. So it's like five mana, it's a five five. When it comes to play, put a plus one plus one counter on all your creatures. Um, so with this, that's two counters, he suddenly becomes almost as good as this guy. I mean, he's still really good anyway. Great and limited. Ooh, give me that forest. So we could have, um, do you have a counter spell in the grave? Yeah. I guess we just uh, attack with both. Even if he does have torrential gear hulk, this guy can't block it, can't block anyway, so I'm just gonna send him in the red zone. Um, looks like no blocks. Yep, I'm gonna crack a clue. Put the pressure on. Let's see what I draw first, actually. Looks like he's casting my guy out. He doesn't like that he's getting super big. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna do anything. But I will play this. Oh, no, 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 okay, so I'll definitely play both of these, because he only can counter one. He only can, have, he only can censor one. And by playing this, it implies to me that he doesn't have board wipe, like um, Fumigate, uh, which isn't in the format, but um, Planar Outburst is, which is very similar. You just don't get any life, and you can awaken it for eight mana to make a 4-4 land. So, that's my read. He doesn't have a board wipe. Watch this as he plays a board wipe. Okay, he doesn't have one. So if we get to resolve this, it could be hilarious. Uh, I've never done it. Uh, this is my first time playing the, um, the green-black deck. So I guess I... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay. Maybe because I have double sensor. I mean, I might as well play around double sensor, I guess. Or triple sensor. Are you going to let me resolve this? Maybe I should have baited this first. Okay, I mean, he's trying to find the answer here. Allegedly. Um, if he scoops, we will be putting the counters on, because I want to see this, but it looks like he found the counter spell. And it looks like I definitely should have done this first. Yeah, but I was playing around triple sensor. Yeah, that was, that was a poor play on my part. That was an extremely poor play. He might have done the same thing for this. Because I only had two cards in hand, so like, what else can he do? Uh, so he's down to four cards in hand. I'm down to three creatures on board and two clues. So not the worst situation. He really needs to draw planar outburst, or maybe crusher tentacles. Or I'm trying to think, what can he draw? Uh, and draws that are good for us would be rich tail, rich tail tusker, um, or rich scale tusker. Uh, Liliana to minus. Get back the gear hulk. Yeah, it looks like it's a little bit of desperation here. Because uh, he could obviously do this in my uh, end phase, but he's looking to find a board wipe maybe in a fifth land. Or do you play a land this turn? I can't remember. Or like a Declaration in Stone, something you can play. Get one of these guys now, probably the Scrappy Stranger. Okay, so I'm not going to play the land just yet. I'm going to crack this clue. Could find a Tardis Tracker and then play a hit, and then still going to do the same again. Hmm, what's he get it? What's he doing? He's drawn some cards. And he's gonna kill my scrappy or this? I'm not too sure. Oh no no, he has to kill this now. Hmm, maybe not. Scrappy. This I think. This one. Yeah, I think that's a good choice. So I actually do have um three or two blossom defense my decks. I didn't draw it, okay. But we do get to resolve a tasty tasty Calvas. This is, a, this is a pretty good game, actually. Nice back and forth here. I'm at a close, though, so if he does find a board wipe, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe that was a case for not playing the Calipas. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have played that, actually. Because the only way I lose this game is if he plays a board wipe, and I'm down to lands in hand. Yeah, I think that might have been a misplay there. Oh, no, don't, no punish, no punish. Come on, no punish. 
the punish is real. Okay. Well, at least we have this guy engraved. Yeah. Okay, that, that's my bad. At least, at least we knew it better anyway. At least I uh, knew the mistake as I made it. I won't make it again, hopefully. Um, by the way, that's the better thing to do than... Yeah, like, let's say here he plays this and then I play my Kaldas. It's such a better situation. Um... You know, don't just go, oh, you got so lucky to draw the planar outburst there. You know, you could have played around it, so. Okay. Let's go back. Well, I was busy talking there. I assume I was topped out. Um, get rid of this guy. Because we actually can get stuff back with Liliana, so it doesn't matter what we pick. Uh, this is going to be a hard comeback. This is going to be a really hard comeback. Gideon... You know... He's fucking good. He's really good. But yeah, don't complain about your bad luck if you suspect that he had a card and didn't play around it. That's your fault. At least that's my attitude. Attitude to it anyway. Make another 2-2. Two -two. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I have like... Hmm. Oh no, I have one. I put one never in the deck, so I can just... Never. And he won't have counter magic. Like, he, he won't have counter magic. Oh, wait a minute. I feel like he's gonna have counter magic. Ugh. Oh, no. Damn it, it slipped away from us. I thought we had it. Now, I don't think, you know, me playing the Kalatas a turn later would have necessarily done it. That's not great. I mean... This is like... This is unbeatable. Go to attacks. Tap my guy down, no. Can't attack with this, he'll just block with this instantly. Uh, he knows I don't have any tricks in hand. If I attack with this, this, he'll pump up his guy, eat my guy. I have to wait. Um, so how many, let's let's check how many instant sorceries has in his grave. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven by two is fourteen. I don't have fourteen lands. I need seven, seventeen lands to be able to win this game, because I need to play Never, then he's going to counterattack a non-creature spell, unless I pay two. I'm trying to think of a way to win this game. I don't think there is one. Maybe Life Crafter's Bestiary into gaining a bunch of life, into getting creatures back? Hmm. Maybe I should have put a, a Westvale Abbey in this deck as a nice little extra win con. I just really don't see how I can win. Especially now he's going to be drawing extra cards. I can't even attack. Probably should scoop him up. Um, who knows, maybe, maybe he'll like tap out for something and then I guess play never on his Gideon. But it's not looking that way. End step he's going to draw. How many cards? We'll, we'll do one more draw step and then... Uh, We'll give in because I really don't think there's any sequence of cards that I can win. And this player's savvy enough to know that as well. He's not going to make any mistakes. He's been playing pretty well. One more draw step. Futile draw step. Mm, get pushed. I do like that card, but we're going to skip this game up because Blum played really well and we played. Mostly well, except at the end there, but uh, he got us, so that's the end of the game one. Hope you enjoy.